This video shows you the Return Merchandise Authorization, or RMA, feature workflow that is a part of Cisco DNA Center version 2.2.3. The RMA workflow is supported for Cisco routers, switches, and APs. Support for wireless LAN controllers, or WLCs, is planned. Note that this feature is only supported for instances of like-to-like -like replacement. For example, a faulty Cisco Catalyst 9300 switch can be replaced only with another Cisco Catalyst 9300 switch. The Cisco DNA Center RMA feature helps you to completely automate the process of replacing your faulty device, right from installing the image and licenses to copying the configurations from a faulty device to a new device. Now let's look at a demo to understand more about this feature. This is the Cisco DNA Center homepage. Click Network Devices. This takes you to the inventory window. For purposes of demo, we have named one device as Faulty RMA and another device as New Device. The new device will replace the faulty device. Now let's start the replacement process. Check the checkbox adjacent to the Faulty RMA device and navigate to Actions and then to Device Replacement. Click Mark for Replacement. A dialog box is displayed. You are asked to change the focus view to Marked for Replacement in order to see the list of all the faulty devices. Information is also provided about configuring the DHCP server pool for onboarding fabric devices. For more information, See the Cisco DNA Center 2.2.3 Release Notes document on cisco.com. Click Mark. Change the focus view to Marked for Replacement. Check the checkbox adjacent to the faulty device, that is, faulty RMA. Now go to Actions and click Replace Device. This launches the RMA workflow. You can see the details of your faulty device including details such as IP address, platform, serial number, and software version. You will also see the details of your new devices under the Available Replacement Devices section. As you can see, Source has two options, that is Unclaimed and Managed. Unclaimed is specifically for onboarding using Plug and Play, or if you want to add devices using Sync with Smart Account. Managed is for new devices that are already added to inventory. In this demo, we're going to use the Managed option, where the new device is already a part of inventory. Check the checkbox adjacent to New Device and click Next. You can then schedule the replacement for later or schedule it now based on your requirements. For purposes of this demo, we're going to use the Now option. Click Next. The summary of the entire RMA workflow is displayed, including the following details. Faulty device details. Replacement device details. Schedule. Click Submit. If you want to monitor the status of the RMA workflow, click Monitor Replacement Status. Click Replacement History. Now, under Replace Status, click Replaced. The detailed replacement steps of the RMA workflow are displayed. Distributing and activating the software image. Deploying the licenses. Provisioning VLANs. Copying the startup configurations to the new device. Updating ICE. Deleting the faulty device from the inventory. This confirms that the faulty device is successfully replaced with the new device. Note that the Cisco DNA Center RMA workflow feature supports fabric and non-fabric devices, both with manual underlay and with LAN automated underlay. Thank you for watching this demo. We hope you now have a good understanding of the Cisco DNA Center RMA feature.